Although it is still in early alpha, this post-apocalyptic survival open world is one that you should definitely explore. My name is Sam, aka Dr. Backslash 911 with the Player's Point, and today I will be reviewing Rust. Rust is a survival open world game based as a crossover of Minecraft and DayZ. There is no single player mode, only different multiplayer servers to connect to, and the world you will spawn in will always be the same. Like Minecraft, there is no real objective to the game other than to survive and thrive. You will start off with nothing more than a rock, a few bandages, and a torch to light up the night, and you must collect resources in order to make better tools, in order to collect more resources, and I think you get the idea. Crafting is an important feature immediately when you start off. Crafting is the component of the game that allows survivors to create their own structures, tools, and weapons. Crafting also gives the player a sense of objective. It makes you want to strive for the better items and loot to become more advanced. Especially for an early alpha stage, Rust has some great crafting mechanics, including nearly every item in the game to become craftable. Building and constructing in the game does have its hiccups, and it also may not feel as free as Minecraft. The style of building is a lot more linear and restrictive, for example you cannot have floating houses without support pillars or foundations. These features do bring a feeling of reality, but with the cost of resources and time. However, even with these limitations, there are still great wonders to be built. Combat in the game is where we see a bit of a turn from Minecraft and towards DayZ. The craftable weapons that can be found later as you progress give the game a great first person shooter feel. Like other post apocalyptic worlds, you may have to resort to fighting other survivors for resources and goodies. Coupled with the expansive multiplayer, you are sure to lead into some crazy yet fun firefights, or even rock fights. Overall, I see a lot of potential in the game Rust. Keep in mind it is still an early alpha stage, so we're expecting to see greater things come forward. Even with all of its bugs and flaws, I have sunk hours into this game already, and plan on sinking even more in its current state. If you are a player who is looking for a finished, well-rounded, and polished gaming experience, you may want to wait a little longer for Rust. However, if you do not mind these small bugs and imperfections, and you love the open world mindset, then Rust is the game for you. Because this game is in its alpha stage and is still being developed, I have decided that I'm not going to be putting a number rating on it. <coughs> but at the end of the day, all I am is another player, and this was the point I wanted to make. To see more videos like this one, check out the player's point on YouTube. And don't forget to stop by my channel at youtube.com slash user slash doctor backslash 911. I have been Sam, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.